Hello students, this is the introduction session of uh, financial management ACC F9 course. My name is Shana Ahmed. Uh, so let's start with, uh, first of all, uh, the uh, syllabus of uh, financial management, the course content, what is included in the syllabus. So there are mainly, uh, first topic is uh, investment appraisal. This subject is, uh, this course is about uh, the financial management, about the financing decision, the investment decision, the dividend policy, the risk management element, the valuation and mergers. So first one is investment appraisal, which is a typical investing decision. In this topic, we'll study that uh, how the investment is to be appraised for example, if I want to invest in a machine, whether this investment is worthwhile or not, whether it will increase the shareholders wealth or not. We have already discussed in the prior papers about this in terms of uh, the net present value, the IRR, the payback period. So we'll discuss this in detail. The second topic is sources of finance. It is obvious that when you plan to invest, when you need to invest, you need finance. So in this topic, we'll study that what are the possible sources of finance available for a business uh, in terms of short-term financing or in terms of long-term financing. So finance need might be short-term or it might be long-term. And in long-term, we have solution like the equity financing that is the ordinary shares and debt financing that is the loan. So we'll study in this topic that uh, what source of finance is suitable, whether equity is suitable or debt is suitable, what is the difference between ordinary shares, preference shares and debt, and what is feasible for the company. Third one is cost of capital and capital structure. Cost of capital is connected with sources of finance because if you want to raise finance, Obviously, the investor will give you money when the investor will get sufficient amount of return. So in this way, the return required by investor is becomes the cost of financing or cost of capital for the company. And the cost of capital as far as the company's policy is concerned should be low, should be minimum so that the value of the business can be maximized. So we'll see that whether ordinary shares are uh, more uh, costly or preference shares are more costly or debt is more costly. So we'll try to calculate the cost of capital and evaluate what is the suitable capital structure for the company. Capital structure means the amount of debt to equity ratio that is also called gearing ratio. Another topic that we have to deal is working capital management. Working capital You've already studied few ratios related to working capital in ACCF3 exam. Working capital management is about short-term investment and short-term financing decision. That is how to manage your day-to-day -day requirement, how to finance your day-to-day -day requirement. In short, how to manage your stocks, how to manage your receivables, how to manage cash balances, and how to deal with accounts payable. The next one is risk management organization has to face several risks but here we'll discuss risk management in the context of currency risk as well as for interest rate risk currency risk risk means the appreciation and depreciation of uh, the currency how it would affect your organization and as far as the interest rate is concerned the rise or fall in interest rate, how it affect the organization. And the last one is business valuation. In business valuation, we'll talk about how to value the equity of a company, how to value the debt of a company, and in journal, that uh, what is the suitable method of valuation, and then efficient market hypothesis about the stock market efficiency. And BIT will discuss about financial management function, financial management objective, and something about the economics. That, that is the 
macro economics theories this is just the theoretical stuff macro economics stuff so this is the overall syllabus of accaa fm now in this overall syllabus three topics rather four topics are uh, key topics means uh, they are in depth like appraisal sources of finance cost of capital working capital and two are not in detail that is the level of introductory level that is the risk management and business valuation now as far as the paper pattern is concerned in fm we have three sections section a section b and section c in section a you have to respond 15 otqs objective type question worth two each and the total marks will be 30 for this section and the question that will be set in this section a is mainly from entire syllabus and focus will be on financial management function environment economics and from each area of the syllabus bit uh, you can say few mcqs will be identified as far as section b is concerned there are three mtqs it's like 10 each so total worth is 30 marks and each question is based on a short scenario and it is connected with five each question each 10 mark question comprises of two mark each multiplied by five otqs related with the case ot case a short ot case and in this there are chances that you have to deal with uh, one question on uh, business valuation 10 mark question one question on risk management the third question depends on what has been asked in section c so it is likely that either working capital is to be examined or sources of finance and cost of capital is to be examined either or or depending on section c in section c we have one 20 mark question which is fixed every time and that is based on the topic which is very important for fm exam that is investment appraisal in every attempt you have to deal with a 20 mark investment appraisal question and that would that is usually not that difficult so in order to pass this exam effectively one of the goal is to effectively cover this investment appraisal second topic it might be from two areas number one it might be from sources of finance and cost of capital mixed together or it might be a complete question from working capital management so if working capital management has been part of section c c r q constructive response question then obviously in part b there will be a different question the section c type is basically a c r q constructive response question so you will be provided with uh, for calculation you will be provided excel and for uh, the theory you will be provided a word document type where you have to type so you need to learn basics of both Uh, the the documents the the software that is excel and word your typing speed will be uh, appropriate as well now one question that a student usually ask about it what is the proportion of theory plus calculation in this paper so it's not fixed but you can say that uh, uh, 50 50 is ideally the ratio between the theory component as well as the numerical but believe me your theory must be very very strong because sometimes the weightage would be 60s to 40 as well minimum 50 you can say that it's guaranteed so if you don't have good understanding of the theory then it's very difficult to pass this paper only on the basis of numerical you can't pass this paper so try to work out on theory as well now what kind of resources we use in our course one is the study text we suggest you to study text use the study text my preferred study text is kaplan you can also study bpp if you find it good or interesting to read 
second thing you have to follow the notes and third thing which is a must for every topic find out technical articles related to each topic it will be available on the given course and try to read that technical article it is very important for the understanding of theory you can also download these from the website and we will provide you a past paper theory question analysis so that you can get an idea of what has been examined in the past which question has been asked so that you can follow the examiner's intention that how examiner ask about the theory or theoretical question